Hey everybody, Vince Dowd, the founder of HijackMind.com and Serene Investor. And I want to talk to you today about Monero, the cryptocurrency. And I wanted to share with you a little problem I had in regard to the money or the coins not showing up in my wallet. And it's a mistake that I think many people will make and I hope to solve that problem for you. So if you're looking to buy Monero or move money into your wallet, um, I want to share this with you. It's pretty important that you understand uh, not to make this mistake. So we'll be right back. Okay, let's get right into it. So the first thing I did is I was uh, I have an account with Gemini, which is an exchange where I kept Bitcoin and Ethereum. So for me to actually change out my Bitcoin into a Monero, which is XMR is the ticker symbol, I basically took my Bitcoin and I moved it from Gemini to Changely. So if you haven't seen Changely, this is Changely. It's pretty cool. So what you do is you go in with any currency that you have. In this case, it was Bitcoin and I'm using 0 0.04 and I want to change it to a different coin. I can do it right here. Uh, it's very fast and effective. So I picked XMR and it shows you how many will, will be converted. It's not doing it right now for some reason, but it usually does. Maybe it's something going on with their site. But it told me there was like 2.2 uh, Monero in the 0 0.04 Bitcoin. So I clicked exchange and then um, I, I had an account. You can set up an account with them. And, but you set it up and then what happens is you go through the process and it shows you the conversion. It's going to ask you for the receiving address, which I put in my Monero wallet. And then at the final part, it gives you the address that you need to put in f for sending your Bitcoin from wherever it's coming from to the Changely account and that basically funds the conversion. Once that money comes in, it actually converts and it gives you the uh, opportunity to send it to the address that you put in earlier. And I did just that. Now here's what happened though. I was looking uh, for a Monero wallet to keep on my desktop and all I could really find that looked pretty good was this uh, website which is getmonero.org. And I went down and instead of a Mac, I went down and I looked at what wallet I would use. So I picked this one here, the Mac OS 10 64-bit GUI uh, and I downloaded the wallet. Now let me tell you what the mistake was because if you lose your coins, this is a lot of times what it comes to. I downloaded the wallet and the first thing that I had an issue with was that Apple wouldn't let me open the wallet because it was from an unidentified source. So in my research I had to go into securities and privacy and on the old Mac you have choices under general called allow apps to be downloaded from Mac App Store, a Mac App Store and identify developers and then it has anywhere. Um, now on my new Mac it doesn't even have the choice to use anywhere. Um, so therefore what you have to do is if you have a newer Mac you have to go into your finder if you load this and you're going to go under um, downloads and in this case it was Monero right here and you have to click right click and open it and that should do it on your um, on your wallet if you have a brand new Mac. Uh, that's what I found out by being on the uh, call with them for a long time. Okay, so that's what I did. Now here's the thing. When I open the wallet, here's what it does. It starts to sync. Down here you can see it's synchronizing. If you send the money, which I did, when it was synchronizing, it's going to not show up. So it's been three days now and I've been on the phone, emails, I've been talking to people on Reddit, and what I found out is I didn't even notice this. It needs to sync. If it doesn't sync up, it shows nothing. And even though Changely gave me a confirmation that the uh, coins were sent, I had that recorded. There's nothing in my wallet. So I was a little bit freaked out. So what I'm doing now is I have my other computer over here. I'm letting that sync. It's taking a long time. And so now that I know that, it actually should show up on the block and come into my Monero wallet. So if you end up losing coins, there's a way to find them. Um, and I had to go into the blockchain information to see the path to see that I did, did receive those. So the actual Monero wallet code that you can see up here, this isn't the same one, but the code it gives you, the receiving code, was it was actually valid and it was sent to that code. It's still not showing up yet, um, but it will. And if there's any problem or it doesn't show up, I'll come back and let you know. But that's a little secret. If you're getting a Monero wallet, make sure you synchronize it before you send any coins. Otherwise, they could be lost in the ether um, and you'll have to go dig for them. Okay, And it's a lot of stress you don't want to have to go through. So I hope that helps you out. If you do have any questions, 
uh, or any comments, please do put them below. Feel free to subscribe. I'm going to be sharing more and more uh, videos about trading the uh, cryptocurrencies. Again, I'm not a tech geek. I'm more of a noob in regard to technical stuff. But what I am is a trader. I've been doing that for 25 years and um, I know how to make money. And that's, the, that's what we're going to talk about more uh, likely on the channel. But I am learning a lot by going into this. So I thank you all for stopping by and uh, look forward to seeing you soon on one of our next videos.